all right welcome to this channel in today's video we'll continue from the series of github task we've been doing so far and um, so far we've um, been able to create a repository we call the repository software precourse we're able to clone it to our web terminal or to our local machine we've also been able to um, create a branch named up to update or update script we've been able to update the script itself and we've done several things we've been able to collaborate we did um, the task on collaboration as the base of a company but today we'll be doing this task this github task and the title is ah what have you done what have you done so this is a task the task ah what have you done it says collaboration is cool but not really when you update the same file at the same time to illustrate that please merge the branch up update underscore script to main cool all my changes will now be part of the main branch ready to be deployed now remember i said it before that the essence of creating a branch one of the major reasons why we create a branch is to copy what we have in our master um, area of the repository into a new area of the repository where we can now test new ideas we can make changes and we can um, experiment several things we need to experiment then when we are satisfied we then merge it back to the main or the master um, branch before it can be deployed so we've done that already we created a branch and um, if i go to my repository you see we created a branch here and now the branch is update script this is the master branch and in the master branch we we um, have this repository software because inside 01 i think it we have three okay inside this um, directory 01 i think it we have bash as a directory c as a directory and in the last video or last um task we're able to create this file up to date but if you open the update script update scripts we've been able to copy everything in the master and we've been able to make some changes in this new branch it has three three directories if you open this bash you will see we have a new file inside bash 98 98 is not in the master's branch we've been able to um, make new changes inside the software file you can see the content is echo software school but if you go to the master the master also has um, a directory known as bash if you go to the, this place you see there's a directory known as bash there if you open bash you discover inside the master branch that there is no 98 as a file here and inside the software file what we have there is echo software school is cool instead of what we are uh, different from what we have in the other branch which is echo software school so you can see that in our update script branch we have new some new content we have some conflicting content some content that are conflicting with what is in the master branch and now in our update script branch we've been able to make so many changes the next thing we want to do is what the question is telling us that we should merge those conflicts those conflicts that we have in software the content of bachelor software in the master's master's branch is different from the content of bachelor software in the up, update script branch so we have to merge it together we are done with all our experimenting our okay with what we have in our update script branch and now we want to merge it to our master branch so that it will be ready to be deployed and that's the whole essence of this um, task as you can see you have conflicts between two branches on the same file yes inside of our um, branch slash software we have two conflicts in the two branches in the two branches we have different contents in the master we have uh, echo software school but in the um, other branch update script you have echo software school is cool so there's a conflict there your goal now is to resolve the conflict by using the version of branch the version of branch update script and push the results into the origin so without wasting much time we just fire up our web terminal now in our web terminal we quickly list the content of our web terminal and um, you will see that we already have the repository software precourse software because it's already there and we navigate into software because by changing directory to software because so you use cd 
software pre-course and you press enter now we are ready in the software pre-course of course you have to navigate to our base directory which is zero uh zero one i think git this is where most of our all our projects are made so we navigate into this new directory or this directory that we've always had in all our tasks and that is zero one i think git now we're inside zero one i think git we have to make sure we are in our master because now i want to merge the content of update script branch with the master so we just um do git so git um check out check out we do git check out and we put master we just want to be sure we're in our master branch we want to make sure we're inside our master branch and uh, once you do git check out master and you press enter it's going to tell you the branch you are currently inside if it's going to move inside the master branch and you can see it here already on master we are in the master branch so now the next thing we want to do is to merge everything we have in update script branch to the master all the changes we've made in update script branch we want to now merge it so that it comes out as one um complete the master branch now has all the updates and how do you do that you use git git merge you want to merge it git merge and what is the um, branch you want to merge to the master i want to merge update scripts so update underscore scripts so want to merge update underscore scripts you use the command git merge update underscore scripts and once you are done with that you you see that do you mean origin slash update scripts merge update not something we can merge okay do you mean origin slash update script okay i think this is what we mean let me do that again git merge origin slash update scripts i just hope this will do what we need yes press enter auto merging this conflict content merge conflict in this automatic merge field fix conflict and then commit then commit the automatic merge field fix conflicts and then commit the results we don't want to fix the conflict we want the conflict to merge so the next thing we have to do is to um push it to our get and to push we first of all add all the changes if there's any change there was no really change per se but you can just do this then we commit git commit so git commit and um we put the message i think the question gave us the message to put there and the message is um okay do we have a message cool all my changes will now be will now be we will be now part of the main branch ready to be deployed so i put that um message in my commit i say cool all my changes will we now be part of the main branch ready to be deployed all right so once you have this commit message the next thing you have to do is just to press enter and um, you successfully commit the changes and um, cool all my changes ready to be deployed okay then use git push all right so it tells me 100 percent that's done the changes so we go to our repository and check if what is happening in the master's branch now if all those changes were made if you're coming into the master's branch now you can see okay you can see the changes have been made we have software school is cool which was previously in our update script branch it has been pushed into echo software school um, into the master's branch 
um, even if I was not expecting it to be like this, but um, okay. So let me check the bash file, the software. All right, you can see now in our master. All right, so it has successfully done this. In our master, you can see that in our master, we now have the file 98, which was not there before. Before now, the file we had in our master was only software. And in our updates script, we had 98 as a file. But now you can see we've been able to merge everything. The, all the things that were not in the master now, now appears in the master. And even in the software, in the software, the, you can see that we've been able to merge what was there before with what we have now. What was there before was Echo Software School. And what we were we had in our what we've been able to merge is now software school is cool. So all the changes we've done are now ready to be deployed. So that's all about this lecture. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video is dropped. Like this video, share with your friends. Thank you.